Nothing ever phases the Pelosi's. Drunk driving, insider trading, numerous federal investigations. They don't worry about any of it. Why would they? When you're royalty, do whatever you want. That's why Nance didn't blink when we asked her why she brought Pauly Jr. on her trip to Asia, remember? What was his role? His role was to be my escort. Um, usually, uh, we, we invited spouses. Not all could come, but I had him come, and I was very proud that he was there, and I'm Did he thrilled, have and it was nice for me. I bet that was nice. Besides, things really went off the rails last time Nancy left the Fresh Prince home alone, remember? And amusing himself with little jokes. Ah, finito. He thought she'd appreciate. Except for the hair. And with his mother gone, it was nice to get a chance to use the sewing machine. Still, he found ways to feel good about Very himself. Much, mother. Buster, you always come through. Maybe it's better for everybody that mommy brings her a little special boy on work trips. Especially when Paul Jr. gets, you know, to mix business with pleasure. You see, little Paulie P just landed a pretty sweet gig in China. He is now the second largest shareholder of a $22 million Chinese telecom company. He owns a whopping 700,000 shares of it. And all he has to do is sit on the board. Literally, just sit there. You may be asking, what does the Fresh Prince of San Fran know about Chinese 5G? Nothing. But he is the son of Nancy. And that's not all. He's got other ties to Asia. Listen, he's on the payroll of two count them, two lithium mining companies. And Taiwan just happens to be a lithium capital. Another company is fresh off a battery deal in South Korea where he went missing. Where was Nancy's Asian escort in South Korea? Still don't know. He's also tied to a company invested in Singapore's energy sector. Oh, that's right. Nancy took him to Singapore, too. For PPJ, it's just a constant stream of insider deals. This guy's like a PG-13 Hunter Biden so far. Well, I mean, we haven't seen the laptop, so. It's what happens when mommy's the speaker. You can get sweet foreign gigs and even front row seats. Down in front, dude. What are those moves? So my, that, the FBI should be looking at him. But in all seriousness, life is good for little Polly P. He's 53, still a bachelor, heir to a fortune. How come he's never been married? I mean, maybe things are just better that he's not married. I mean, why settle down? We can just fly around on mommy's jet and rub elbows with rich foreigners. Miranda Devine's a New York Post columnist and a Fox News contributor. We are just getting started, Miranda, digging down into Paul Jr. I mean, we have just scratched the surface with this guy. This is a weird dude. Uh, we just don't know how weird. He seems corrupt. He's under investigation. Most of his companies are. How bad does it get? Look, Jesse, the shamelessness of this when we've had now, uh, you know, over a year of publicity about Hunter Biden's laptop and the influence peddling scheme that his family was running, particularly with China and Russia and Ukraine, to hear that Paul Pelosi Jr. is uh, similar to Hunter Biden on, you know, having a lucrative board seat on a Chinese company. This China is doing this because they want influence at the very top level of our government. Uh, they are our adversary. There should be no politician who allows any family member to do this. And, you know, Nancy Pelosi has, has posed as a, a China hawk for much of her career. Uh, and yet here she is, her son would not be getting these jobs without her. He has nothing to recommend him other than he is the, the son of the third most powerful person in the country. So the FBI is fixated on a piece of paper in a mansion in Palm Beach, right? This is like a national <laughs> security code red, right? It's all their resources, 30 men. They've been doing at this for like, what, months now? Yet, Ukraine just gives politicians, children, board seats where they sit there and they collect money. They give them hundreds of thousands of shares in companies. If you're Nancy's son, oh, here, here, you sit on a board, take some money, and the FBI doesn't see that 
as having to do with national security. That doesn't that doesn't cross their radar. That like, wait a second, are are these countries bribing the families of politicians? That that they don't see that at all, Miranda. They see it. I mean, Christopher Wray was just in London two weeks ago, the FBI director, um, you know, talking about the malign influence of China uh, on all of our Western governments. And yet he's turning a blind eye to this because he's a coward, frankly, and he's not doing his job. And uh, I, I think what we see here is, uh, I think it's a bipartisan disease in Washington, D.C. The Democrats, we're seeing, they're probably the most flagrant, but I think it goes on on both sides. It's trickle-down corruption, and in third world countries, they know what it is. You don't give the bribe to the principal, to the important official, <laughs> right. you give it to their family member. Right. It's, I mean, it's, it's a simple playbook and we keep looking down at these third world countries it's happening here yeah. <laughs> like every yeah. I, i'd be surprised if someone's son or daughter didn't sit on a board of some foreign company that was paying them millions of dollars all right miranda thanks so much especially for your investigative work over the last couple of thanks months. jesse you too hey sean hannity here hey click here to subscribe to fox news youtube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis you will not get it anywhere else.